very dear friend of mine is um, completely consumed with cancer, and she is very, very, very ill. Is there anything that I can do or she can do to come through this? Come through means get I cured? Mean, yes. Get, or die peacefully? Get better. Get better. Hmm? Get better. Get well. Now, I am not talking with any disregard to your friend, but I want you to understand, people need to die. When and how is the only question, isn't it? So if death comes to us, yes, we will do everything possible to save ourselves. But if it goes beyond that, let us learn to die gracefully. Let's not fight with it and fight with it like endlessly, you know. It's a horrible way to die. The way people are dying in Western countries is really a horrible way to die. Even though they're eighty-five, ninety, staying in a hospital with full of pipes and needles all over them, this is not. It's okay if you die two years early, what's the problem? You die peacefully and gracefully, that's more important, isn't it? See, death is the last thing that you do in your life, shouldn't you do it gracefully? We must learn to accept death as a part of our life. We are not wishing death, but when it comes, let us learn to go through it gracefully, you know. If there is a possibility of saving ourselves, living beyond that, that is fine. But what I see in all the geriatrics homes in United States, many people are living beyond their death just because of medical support. And it's such a torture to themselves and to everybody. You should see the way in some of the homes they're being treated. Not because of anything, the people who work there after some time they get irritated because these dead bodies walking around. They don't understand anything, they've forgotten everything, they're like lost all their senses because they've lived beyond their time. If there was no too much medical input, they would have gracefully died at a certain point, isn't it? There is no sense in stretching it one more month, one more month, one more month, it doesn't make any sense. But life is not understood that way, we are thinking of always stretching it. So if somebody's body is broken beyond redemption, let's learn to die gracefully. Let us make the person understand, it's okay, it's all right, you know. We are all in the queue, aren't we? So you are ahead of me, isn't that great? In any queue you want to be ahead of everybody, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm not trying to make fun of somebody's illness, but we should understand where one thing stops and the other thing begins, isn't it? 